The final step of working with batch image processor is step 3 to actually process the images you have selected and save the result. Uh, you obviously can select the folder, the destination folder, or leave it blank to use the original folder. You can specify the name. Maybe you want to use original name, in which case you have the option to either override the original or backup original, or you can use the new name, uh, which will be dynamically generated. <clears throat> then, of course, you can specify the file format in which you want to save the images. You can choose um, original if it is supported, or you can choose a format explicitly from the list of defined formats, for example, JPEG, in which case you will be able to set its quality, or Portable Network's uh, graphics format, in which case you will be able to set other options, and so on. I will choose JPEG, and when you are ready, simply hit Process, and the program will process all the images pretty quickly and uh, will display you the results right here. Uh, on the left side you have the original image and on the right side you have the modified image. And you can double click on both to see how they are different and whether or not you are happy with the results.